Right, so ladies and gentlemen, there's a second one. It's been a little bit of time since I did one of these. In fact, I've only done two. So, I would suggest that if you have no interest in God and things like that, you should just turn off now because it's everything I'm going to say is not really going to be for you. So, this is something sent out to people. Anyone who will hear it, will hear it. Anyone who won't, won't. So, <clears throat> I'm going to play with your mind a bit. Let's see how all this goes. So, things in life, they have power. Now, you might not think they have power, but they have a lot of power. So, for example, a great white shark. You see that image, or you see that actual creature in real life, you'll see its power. And its power is what it does to you, which is your emotions, how you feel about that thing. And you'd feel very scared if you were in the water and you had a couple of those swimming around you. Because you know the implications of what's going to happen. So when you see it, it has that power over you. Same with spiders, same with lots of things. Now also pictures. They also have power too. How you feel about something. So you might have a favourite picture. You might have a favourite photo or something like that. And the feelings that you have about it is its power. So, for example, if you were to say certain words, they have power. So, for example, if you walked into a room and you were in a job interview and you said fuck you all to those people sat behind the desk who are about to have a um, interview with you what, what do you think those words will do they'll have a powerful effect on that room you walk in and you say hi I am such and such all of that has power so imagery all these things so these images that hold power these are graven because they cause you to have emotional feeling about it. It causes a reaction on you. That's why symbols have a lot of power. Because they cause a reaction on you. It makes you feel in a certain way. So, there's a reason why no graven images. Because they fuck with your mind. They cause this power to hold and hold over you. Now, what I'm getting at with all of this is when I say heaven, instantly the likelihood is the reaction of the feeling of what you're going to have is a visual one of pictures you've seen, paintings and things like that. Clouds with things in it and so on and so forth. And it looks like this and that looks like this. Well, it's because it's a graven image. Okay. So words and pictures have power. So I say to you, Jesus, how does that word make you feel? What reaction do you have to it? What power does it have over you, this word? And I'll tell you that it has a lot of power, that word, because you walk into a room and say, hi, I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. How are you? What do you think the reaction is going to be in that room? People will say, huh, that's, uh, yeah, uh. might not then want to talk to you again. Because they have the visual impact on their mind because things have power. So now, the pictures of Jesus. Do you think that that is Jesus? Do you even have any feelings towards it in the first place? It's kind of immaterial. Everyone has to make their own choices in life. No one can die for you <laughs> other than one. And there's no one who's going to be with you when you die unless you have that one. Okay. I and I. Right. So those pictures, those graven images, you see, where did they come from? 
Well, if you search the Gospel, which is Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, the four testimonies to Jesus and what he did, who he was. So, let's, let's ask, is there a description in there? Well, no. Sadly, there's not. There's no description at all. So where did that image come from? Well, that image came from Sergere Borgia. If you know about the Borgias, you might know also about Da Vinci Code. Well, Leonardo da Vinci and Cesare Borgia were gay lovers, and Leonardo da Vinci said, I will paint you to be the image of Jesus Christ, and the whole world will worship you as I love you. Guess what? That's where that picture comes from. So, where can we find a description? Because, you know, these things are having power over us. They're making us feel in ways and do things and say things and whatever. So we go to Revelation. The only description that we have of Jesus. And he's not human. He's not a man. Because it's appointed for every man to die. So too did he die. Because he was a man. His body died. He came back. Regardless of his body being dead. That's because he was no longer of the flesh. That's why he could change and be different things and move differently to how the flesh can move. So what's his description? Well, John says, I saw what looked like a son of man, meaning it had the shape and likeness of a man, but it wasn't a man. And it was standing amongst seven golden candlesticks in the midst of them, but I couldn't quite make it out. He then says, when I saw him, his skin was like molten bronze. Well, here's what molten bronze looks like. He then said that out of his mouth proceeded a double-edged sword which was his tongue. Well, this is what a double-edged sword looks like. He then said his eyes were like pools of burning fire. Well, this is what burning fire looks like. He then said his voice was like many rushing waters. Well, have you ever heard a waterfall? I'm not going to play a sound for you for that one. If you heard a waterfall, it's very loud. In fact, you have to shout loudly over the rushing sound of the water smashing against more water. He then said his hair was as white as the most pure wool he's ever seen and that he was wearing a, a robe. And this robe was brighter than the sun. Well, this is the sun, and I'm sure you've also looked up at it to see how bright it is. Yes. Do you think that you're going to be able to look with your eyes at that? Do you think your eyes are going to be able to look at the sun? No chance. Your body cannot be in that presence of, of that. That being, that is Jesus. The pictures and paintings and things that you think... That's of Cesare Borgia, a man, a gay man who loved Leonardo da Vinci. So, hmm, I don't know, like, I'll, I'll worship the conquering lion of Judah who is that molten skin man, son of man appearing thing who is coming with the judgment. That's, that's, that's the one that I give thanks to because that's ultimately what all the angels also look like that's what heaven looks like um because it doesn't look like fluffy clouds and stuff like that but yeah it's all good times now before he left and now sits beside the father looking like that in all of the glory because that's pretty glory, man. I mean, like, people play RPG games and stuff like that, and it's all about making the badass armor sets and all that type of stuff, so you look wicked as fuck, so, you know? But that's what true goodness looks like. So, rather than looking like wickedness, I'll look like that. 
So that's my choice. Everyone has to make their own. So before he left, he told us a whole bunch of information of how to live life and how to act and what to do and plotted it all out and said, this is the narrow path, walk it. And he said, put on your armour, pick up your cross and follow me. And if you do that, when I come back, I'm going to say to you, good servant, you were faithful and true until the end. And to the others, he'll say, be gone from me. I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. And he said that to those who said, Lord, 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 please, look how brilliant we were. Look how righteous we were. Look how much goodness we did. Because they were worshipping a picture of a man, a gay lover <laughs> of, uh, of, of, yeah, Leonardo da Vinci. Rather than thinking of the world as it actually is, and that's what your master is, and that's what the conquering lion of Judah is when he comes back, because he came as a lamb, and he comes back as a lion. So, yeah. That's why you see all the fucked up stuff going on. And it's all happening, and people who are supposed to be watching and calling for this stuff are not watching and not calling for it. And the ones that are, are pretending because they seriously don't know anything because they're asking for subscribers and money. Please subscribe and donate to my channel. The fuck are you doing? Worker of iniquity. So we give thanks to the Father and we give thanks to Jesus when he comes back. It's going to be a good day. And don't worry, you're not going to miss it because um, he said, every eye will see me coming in the glory with the kingdom's army behind me. Even those who pierced me, meaning the ones that stabbed him through the bottom of his chest up into his heart with a spear while nailed to a cross, having been savaged by those people who loved him and then denied by the people who supposedly were his disciples. Fullness of sin poured onto one man. Took it, knowing full well what he actually is, which is that molten skin man. So yeah, everyone, even if I die, I'll still see it. Because he said, even the dead will see. So too will the living when that day comes. So we're looking for it, seeing the signs, seeing the birth pangs that he talked about. It's all there, man. It's just a matter of time. It's like a powder keg and the fuse has been lit and it's an indefinite length of fuse. So no one knows when it's going to exactly go off. But it will go off. It's easy, man. So easy. All we have to do is just be thankful, even when it's shit. Look, man, all of that effort and time put into grow those plants, and someone drove a bulldozer for it. I'm not crying, man. I still give thanks. Still give thanks. Even when you fall and fall on the floor, man, you fall on the floor down there. Yeah. Even then, there's a hand there ready to pick you up if you're willing to take it. Put the armor on, man, because it's um, it's bad times. I mean, shit. Look at the world. Can't you see it? Can't you see how everything's fucked up? Like, 20 years ago, man, it went like this. It went like this at all. Nothing like this. And look how fast it's getting. Getting quicker and quicker. More shit's happening every day. Wars and rumors of wars, man. All that stuff. But anyway, come to an end. UK Field Ninja. See you all later.